Well, I think there's a couple of ways to look at that. Um, the, you know, an authentic relationship is one that's real. And so one of the ways to look at it is if you really are in um, a very scary place where there's, you know, a lot of, a lot of underhanded stuff and backstabbing and this, that, and the other, you want to treat those relationships authentically, right? Which means you want to be real about it and recognize what you're dealing with because not everybody is trustworthy. And so to want to have trustworthy relationships with people that aren't trustworthy is just not going to work. Now, there are several factors that load on trust. I want to know somebody's intent. And, you know, and you, you hang around people enough to where you find out what is their motive? What's their intent? Are, re- are they really for them or are they for the organization and the greater good and other people? When you find the ones that are not just for themselves, that goes in the trust bucket. Number two, what is their character like? You know, just watch their basic character. Do they try to solve problems or do they gossip and try to divide? Are they critical or are they kind of a person that faces issues and and learns? Are they honest? Are they duplicitous? Are they deceptive? Look at their character. The third thing is their competencies. You know, you want to have authentic relationships. There's a trust thing where we got to find out if somebody's really got the the competency, relational EQ to have that. And then the fourth one is their track record. So how have they behaved? Have they shown to be trustworthy? And once you see them, then you deal with them at a deeper level of authenticity than you do the ones you have to be afraid of. And the ones that you have to be afraid of, you either learn to manage around them or you learn to manage them and figure out what you need to do to get done what you need to have done and serve the position. Or sometimes authentic means that you're part of the pruning process, that you actually have to confront somebody or you have to go to a boss or you have to take your authority and use it to authentically deal with an authentic problem. And sometimes that may mean somebody gets fired, but but these are real issues. So there's a lot of different ways to approach that.